Now at six, the Tallahassee Housing Authority says they need millions more dollars to finish the Orange Avenue apartment project. It's expected to bring hundreds of affordable housing units to the south side of Tallahassee. I thank you for what you're doing for, for the black peoples and for the elder peoples. I really thank you from the bottom of my heart. People living on the south side are excited for the redevelopment, though the Tallahassee Housing Authority needs a little more help to get things finished. That necessary assistance costing more than $5 million. Thank you for joining us. I'm Channing Frampton. ABC 27's Candace Blake joins us live from that redevelopment site now. Candace, what's causing the financial setbacks here? Channing, the Housing Authority tells me it's both construction and a rise in interest rates. And though residents are trying to stay patient, they say that they're ready to move back into their homes. Over there, I'm in the walking distance to be able to walk to the store because I, I don't have a car. Dorothy Snell has lived in Tallahassee for over 60 years, specifically on Orange Avenue in Southside Tallahassee. Snell says she's lived in Orange Avenue apartments for the last 10 years. When Snell, like many other residents, heard about plans for redevelopment, she was excited for the change. I was more than happy about that, uh, what the the housing was doing. Though Tallahassee's Housing Authority is running into issues along the way. Right now they need over $5 million to complete the Orange Avenue Apartments project. This is due to things such as inflation and the pandemic. The site's developer Ray Kunansky says that five years ago it would have cost around $100,000 to build an individual apartment. Now that number has doubled. According to the Associated Builders and Contractors.org, construction input prices have gone up 39% since February 2020. I can think of a couple of times over the course of my career where things have slowed down or it was uh, or prices went up a little bit, that kind of thing, but not at this magnitude. Despite the financial toll the project has taken, Director of Housing Authority Brenda Williams says that she has a plan. The Housing Authority is currently preparing an application uh, to submit to the state of Florida for funding for Phase 3. Williams says this will not affect the redevelopment timeline or future rent prices. Residents are more than eager now than ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you and thank you. As for more funding, so far the Community Redevelopment Agency hasn't agreed to an additional $1 million for the project. Live in Tallahassee, I'm Candace Blake, ABC 27.